Folks, how you doing? This is all about the bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. My new on-screen wife. Absolutely. You may be wondering where the other Lee is. Uh, I believe he's being detained at his uh, Her Majesty's pleasure. Apparently After so. After offending about 46 different uh, nations <laughs> uh, with his various uh, offensive comments. So uh, he's out of action, I'm afraid. So I'm so taking he, over. Yeah, so Lee's here now. He's working on his uh, offensive comments. So. I'm working on it. We'll get there. If you could. So, Lee, hey, what are we doing today? So, I thought we'd look at, yeah, some fretlesses. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think we were both saying, uh, yeah, we need to brush up a little bit. Well, I don't, I'd, 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 on the same. I'll come clean, man. I don't play the fretless at all, as you could hear from my hideous out of tune. Oh, meanderings at the beginning. Nonsense, man. Uh, but um, <laughs> hey, listen, oh, you never say never, right? Exactly. You're never too old. That's it. <laughs> no, and we'll just say, I say I've, I've played a little bit in the past, but it's just to see where we've got these two at a certain price point at the moment, just come in, brand new models. I thought it'd be worth showing you guys what's, what's uh, out there at the moment. Well, absolutely. And what are these models? So we have, you have there the Spectre, Spectre Core fretless bass so you're looking just shy just below 700 pounds um and uh this one with the arbanez s now no, no, forgive me s h r f i believe that's the the uh, the first part of the code mm. 500 so these are around 609 so a little bit cheaper okay but there's a certain few things on here that you get that you don't get on on the arbanez and yeah, vice versa they, they certainly look very different yes yes so both have some sort of semi-hollow construction. Okay. And uh, so we've got the F-hole there. Um, you say semi, so this bit I can see is hollow. Absolutely, and, and this is all solid. Okay. Same with uh, same, same with, with that one, yeah. So, um, yeah, this one, mahogany. Mahogany uh, back to it. Okay. Um, and we've got a maple, uh, sorry, spruce top on this. You've got the maple top on that. Right. Uh, with a basswood body. Okay, basswood. It's very, it looks very pretty, doesn't it? This. Oh, it's a gorgeous. I love this. Yeah, gorgeous. But and that is a proper maple cap. It's not a veneer or anything. That's a yeah, proper maple cap on it. Cool. Um, worth mentioning. This one, you have an extra little uh, extra bonus of having two pickups in this one here. So you've got the EMG um, and the Fishman Piezo pickup, uh, which you can blend. I think you were saying there, Nathan was great, so you've got a volume and a tone for each. I worked out, it took me about 10 minutes, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm old. Uh, you have a volume and a tone for the piezo and the bridge, and then you have a volume and a tone for the uh, the regular, uh, you know, pickup there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this this is just purely from the, the piezo pickup. Okay. You're getting the sound from, so 
Uh, don't have the advantage of both, but the tone on this on its own is, is pretty sweet. So, I noticed that. I did have a little fiddle with this one earlier, and it's it is yeah. um, it's got a really nice a nice sound to it. And it's also yeah. got a nice feel, but this is mainly because this comes factory uh, equipped with uh, flat wound strings. Yeah. And this uh, it comes with round wound. Yeah. So straight yeah. off the bat, you, you, you've got two completely different feeling bases, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because the round wounds do give you that bit of resistance. Yeah, this is it. And I think fretless wise, I, don't, I always find when I've picked up a fretless, say, to, to give that smooth yeah. sort of movement around the neck, um, I find it easier with fretless, uh, with round wound strings. Uh, flat wound, sorry. That, that, that certainly felt nice. That felt nicer to play to me. Yeah. Um, but uh, hey ho, you know, I mean, each to his own. You may have different ideas about that. So it's, uh, yeah, I think maybe if you're coming, for, you know, into fretless for the first time, maybe it's you know more alien for you know feeling a flat wound string than a round wound. Yeah. Um, but I think if you can if you can go for it, get used to these because you do get that that fuller fuller sort of more acoustic bass sound. Now, maybe we should explain, uh, maybe you don't know the difference between round wound and flat wound. Uh, yeah. So, so I don't know where we can show. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, it's very hard to see, but um, yeah, just the actual construction of the string, you'll see it's not ridged, uh, they're wound, so it's just completely smooth down each string. It's like sort of tape wound, isn't it? it yeah, this is it, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you don't get any resistance sort of moving up and down the string. Obviously, round wound is your standard bass string and, and guitar string. Um, but yeah, you can feel that that extra bit of give, so um, might be more comfortable. Again, say some fretless players have said to me in the past where um, at, when you're aiming for a aiming to slide to that note, it's quite nice to have a little bit of resistance. Mm. But but then again, yeah, each to his own, each to his own. Of so. course, and tonally they're very different too. Flat round strings are much uh, duller. Yeah, if, yeah. I mean, that, that, it sounds like a very negative word, but you know they've got less top end. Let's put yeah. it that way. They've got less treble. Uh, these are a lot sort of fizzier. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I, I was finding with this bass, you know, that it sounds good when I've basically got the top end wound off it. And yeah, it's, and it's yeah. emulating that. So exactly. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it can be a little bit, uh, a little bit too pokey, but. And it, so some really other are. differences then uh, between these two. The, the first obvious one I found between playing the two was uh, uh, I didn't notice until I played that one. Mm. Now this one, it has got um, markers where the frets are supposed to be, but they're. <laughs> They're kind of black. They're black, which on a black fingerboard. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good luck with that one. Yeah. Uh, with my eyes, I don't stand a chance at all. Yeah. Uh, whereas on this oh, one, well, yeah, they're, they're filled in. Uh, you know, it. you've actually got them marked on there. So uh, yeah, this is kind of easier to, to work out where you are. Yeah. Yeah. I was sort of saying before, and as I, my mom base teacher first said, well, I said I'm going to get fretless. Any any tips? So the first thing he said was, just, you know what? Just turn the lights off. And practice as you were, as you, as, you, as you would do, you know. In the dark? Um, in the dark, practice in the dark. So there I was. This was your teacher, was this it? This is my teacher, yeah, as a 15 yeah. year old in my dark bedroom on my he's, own. Yeah, he's right. probably uh, <laughs> under investigation as well. <laughs> there you were, in your bedroom. That's it. Lights off. <laughs> Lights off. Practice <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But that's it, just training your ear. This is the whole thing, just train your ear to, to, to know where to make the fingers stop instead. But yes. um, you can shut your eyes. That, yeah. that, that'll work as well. Yeah, keep the lights on. Yeah, keep, <laughs> just in case. And keep an adult present at all times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, all right, well. So that's, uh, you know, that's a bit about the bases. What do they sound like? That's the question. Yes. Well, uh, today, just so you know, um, Lee, you're playing through uh, a yep. dark glass. Yeah, dark, dark glass head. And, and an EBS cab. EBS 1x12, yeah. And you've got the little Mark three and a little 210, 210 cab as well, with your man. So um, we will swap over so you can hear what they got, what, you know, what both, both amps are doing to both guitars. I mean, to be honest with you, the cabs are just for our benefit. You're not, you're not hearing the cabs. You haven't got the mic up. You're just yeah. hearing the bases DI'd. Um, but obviously you'll get some of the tonal char characteristics from the uh, the amps that we're using. Uh, so, uh, Lee. Sweet. Uh, come so, on then, let's see what yours does. Here we go. So, at the moment, so volume on, full tone, and this is what you're getting. Lovely full sound. Yeah, as and you see, I just I twiddled with his uh, his tone knob there, and I just sort of took the top end off. Exactly. In case you're wondering what I was doing. 
Yes. Yeah, I wasn't it. trying to freak him out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. It's nice and simple, volume, tone. Obviously, so you've got a nice mix between, between the both, but actually the pickup, the piezo there is really, really decent. And so you've got that real full acoustic bass sound. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, shall we see what yours can do now? Let's do that. Now, obviously we have more options on this because we have uh, two pickups. Yes. We have the piezo uh, and we have uh, the, the regular pickup there. So well, I'll, I'll play a little bit sort of all out of tune. And then, uh, do you want to have a mess about with this? Yes, mate, yeah, yeah, they, let's do they that. They can get the idea of that too, eh? Let's pop that just behind me. Cool. So I'll start off with the piezo with the top end off. I think that's the safest thing to do. Uh, right, so everything down apart from that. Yeah, Okay. Lovely. Did you cover all the bases there, sir? I did indeed. So yeah, you're hearing, um, say, piezo only, when then piezo with the tone on and off. Um, the neck pickup, again, same thing, just the tone cut between between the two, and then both pickups, so big pickups on. Um, so yeah. And nice what did you think? Because you see, well, I was concentrating on not uh, making a complete pig's ear of it. So no. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> no, no, no. That's how, it. What, so how did it sound? So I think there, there is a nice, there is a sweet spot there between using two pickups, right. the, the both at the same time. I don't think you need the tone of the piezo on at all times. It sounds like you get quite, quite toppy, you know, when, when just putting that on. But roll that off, a, off, off slightly. Yeah. Um, and there is like a yeah, that little sweet spot that sounded lovely. Okay. Um, obviously more options on the, having the, the, the two pickups there. Um, but it's whether, yeah, whether the tone sings to you, you know, and it really is just getting down and we're gonna have the, all these on display, so just come and make your mind up as well on these, so. Come and, yeah, come down to Anderson's, check these out. Uh, yeah, and, and make up your own mind. Yeah. Why don't, uh, do you wanna swap over? Oh yeah, let's do that, yeah. Different amps, see what they sound like through both. Let's do it. Love it. Okay, now, so this is the uh, the Ebenez that I've got now, right? Absolutely, Give yes. me that serial number again. Right, do you know what, I'm gonna have to, oh, do you know what, I'm gonna check this. Is it on the back? <laughs> there we go, here we go. It's S the FFS. <laughs> so, I love my Ebenez code. SRH500F, and then the colour comes after. But there's only two colours, so yeah. yeah they should make it easier, they should call it the Ebenez brown fretless thing. Yeah. See? And then everybody will remember that. Then we'll be they? good. <laughs> that's my that's my recommendations to you, Ibn is. What do you think about that? That's uh, it. Right, now I'm gonna play this. Yes. Yeah, Wish me think. luck. There's Good no luck, fret man. markers, so uh Oh god. You'll be alright, man. Slide it, well, slide it. Okay, well, the first impressions then. Yeah. From changing over, um, it's just straight away you've got the flat metal strings, and that's just a completely different feel. Mm. But of course, that just depends what strings you've got. Uh, tonally, this sounds a, a much more like a kind of acoustic bass to me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But again, that's probably got a lot to do with the flat metal strings. Um, the body is noticeably deeper. Mm. 
um, but kind of squarer. Yeah, that's um, it. That's kind of, kind of nice with a curve. I think that's a bit more comfortable, to be honest with you. Yeah. This is a little bit lumpy and bumpy. Um, but I kind of, I like it. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like the sort of vibe. For the first time they came in on the tour, I was just like, right, come on, let, me, let me have a go on that. And d first impressions was like, oh man, it's like around 600 quid as well. Well, so you see that, that's kind of like playing a normal bass. This yeah. is a bit different. This is kind of like, oh yeah, what's this? Yeah, yeah. But I, I like the sound. Absolutely. Lee, we'll your this turn. Again. Cool, right. So, what should we start with? Right, I'll put everything on first. Um, and let's see what this sounds like. It's nice, it is nice. Again, like, say so first impressions, coming from that, I think it's possibly a little bit biased, just purely just because I know I've, I've used flat wounds yeah. and I've just got used to that on, on a fretless. Um, I was always told as well that it can sort of, can chew up the fretboard a little bit, having, having round one strings, you think you're going straight. Is that true or is that a myth? Is that a sort of old wives tale? Uh, to be honest, my fretless. What does your old wife say? Yeah, the old wife, <laughs> the old wife says, um, <laughs> says, yeah, do you know what? It's chopped mine up to bits. Is you know, it? Like, yeah, the person I had it before me, just use round wounds and you can see it all no, down the fretboard. Not an urban myth, there you go. It's yeah, true. and I guess it's because it's, you know, string straight on the board instead of on the frets, you yeah. know, and you're getting the tone from there, so. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I like the tonal variation on this. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can get a little bit more, a yeah. little bit more options from, from this bass. I think so, yeah. Um, Sounded nice when you were playing it. No, oh, thanks mate. <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely bass. Um, but I think just straight away, I'm like, I'm there. Oh, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I like, I like simple. I know it's a very open term to, to describe a guitar or a bass, but very woody, that real open woody sound. That I, I agree. I do like that side of it. Um, I'd like to hear that with some flat rounds on. So maybe yeah. uh, we could revisit that another time. Yeah, maybe. absolutely. But absolutely. I personally, I, I like, I, I, re I like the look of this. I think it looks lovely. Yeah, oh, and yeah. I like the tonal variations. So yeah. uh, you know, I'd. Um, mm. It's a good. Come and make your own mind up. There Absolutely. Come to Anderson's and check it out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, cool, okay. Well, I think we rather like these in different ways, don't we? Absolutely, uh, yeah. So just yeah. to sum up, uh, this one was how much? You're looking at 609. That's very specific. It is very specific. Can <laughs> I get is. nine pounds off? Yes, oh, maybe come and see me. There come you and go. see me. We'll see about that. There you go. Um, and uh, this one, 679 from, from memory. So you're looking, yeah, about- 679. 70 quid more. And you think actually, for the extra pickup and what you get in there, you know, it's a, it's not that much more to pay, is it? I guess not. Where are they made? Uh, this one is Korean, right? Um, and I believe this is Indonesian. Um, it is indeed. There you go. So there's a man who knows his equipment. Oh, I try, I try. Cool. All right, but nice one. Well, yeah, well, I think so. Just get down, get down, and give them a go. And we have got loads more fretless in stock. I just pick these two, just from say, brand new products, and just so. Because the F holders, I guess. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But um, but yeah, no, come down, and check them out. Come down and check them out. Okay, fantastic. Uh, this has been All About The Bass. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, subscribe by clicking on a link, which is somewhere there, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. And we'll see you soon on All About The Bass. Yeah. Let's play some uh, uh, out of tune nonsense. Uh, sounds good to me, mate. Sounds sound good.